Great news, everyone. We're all about to be filthy rich. It's our time. There are not one, but two plays of the century on the board for Monday Night Football tonight, and I'm about to tell you about both of them. But first, subscribe to this channel. Do it now. For both of us. While you're at it, turn on the notifications too. It just makes sense. You're never going to want to miss another one of these shows for as long as you live. We both know that. Especially after Jake Browning throws for over 225 yards tonight. That's right. We're going Jake Browning, 225 plus passing yards, plus 114 at FanDuel. Now I know what you're thinking. Slop, what's up with betting on these backup quarterbacks? Relax, it's fine. This is no ordinary backup quarterback. We're talking Jake Browning here. In high school, this guy was Gatorade Player of the Year in his state in both his junior and his senior seasons. Dude threw for 91 touchdowns his senior year. That guy scored more than all of us combined during our senior years. On top of TDs, he threw for almost 17,000 yards in his high school career. I'm just saying, this isn't some bullshit guy. In college, he led the Washington Cougars to the college football playoff his sophomore season. They got their brains beat in by Alabama, but still, we're talking Alabama. Now he's in Cincinnati playing behind Joe Burrow. Obviously, he's not gonna get a ton of face time playing behind Joe Cool, but he's not an attention guy. He never has been. And what's really important here is he's playing now. Joe Burrow, out for the season. It's Jake Browning time. I know this isn't high school and college, but he threw for 227 yards last week, so we know he can get over this number. The beauty is, this is a way better environment than he had last week. He's going to get to show off the cannon a little bit tonight. Why? Because the Jacksonville Jaguars should beat up on the Cincinnati Bengals tonight. They're 10-point favorites. That means Jake Browning will likely be throwing the ball most of the night. The Jaguars' defense is pretty good against the run, but they suck against the pass. Of all the teams that have only played 11 games this season, no team has given up more passing yards to quarterbacks than the Jacksonville Jaguars. That's a fact. You can look it up. Guys go over this number all the time against them. My guess is the Jaguars running up on the Bengals tonight and Jake Browning just starts throwing darts. 225 plus should be very easy. So if you want a little bit of a challenge, maybe go 250 plus at plus 210 or even 275 plus at plus 400. It's all deadly. It really just depends on how much money you want to win. I know I said the Jaguars can run up on the Bengals, so if they're playing with a lead, we may as well have a look at Travis Etienne. How about Etienne, 70 plus rushing yards, plus 102 at FanDuel. I know what the game log guys are gonna say, so let me stop you before you embarrass yourselves. Game logs don't matter. The fact that this guy has only gone 70 plus four times this season doesn't scare me. Why? because the Jacksonville Jaguars are playing the Cincinnati Bengals tonight. The Bengals don't stop the run for anything. Ask Najee Harris. Most of the Bengals still have cleat marks on him from when he ran over him last week. It was brutal. A couple weeks before, it was Devin Singletary going for 150 yards. That was a career high for him. We're not just talking the pros either. We're talking high school, college, Pop Warner, all that, probably. That's not the point. The point is, guys have days against the Bengals. It's Etienne's turn tonight. The last time he faced a run D this bad, it was the Buffalo Bills. Guess what? He went for a buck 36 on those guys. Made them look like amateurs. I think he could even top that tonight. I'll see you guys on the live stream later. Don't forget to turn on the notifications.